everyone. Uh, welcome back. This is the third class so far in our uh, pandemic Pilates series. This will be um, another 30-ish minute class, so you can repeat, um, repeat the movements multiple times if you want to make it a little longer. Uh, there's some things you can do just to change it up. After this video, I, I'm going to be aiming to um, upload something at least once a week, probably Thursdays. And I would really love to hear your feedback of things you'd like to see. So class length, um, certain body parts you want to work on, things like that. And I can easily modify, modify that to um, what everyone wants. So we're all getting, getting what we want out of this. Um, with that, I think we're just gonna get started, uh, bust it out. This is again working our, our full body, so just be prepared to be a little sore tomorrow if you're not used to working these body parts. So, start with um, wide legs standing, and we're just gonna start with head rolls. So you can go all the way back if you want. Um, but if that's too hard on your neck, you can just go from side to side. Switch sides or switch directions if you're doing the full head circle. forward we're just going to do big giant arm circles going back and then going front getting even your fingers involved so your whole whole the entirety of your arms um, are stretching I promise I can talk today <laughs> more in each direction. Oh, that feels good. All right, we're gonna bend our legs and just reach to the side, reach everything from my toes down to my fingers, bend my legs, reach. Bending those legs as you come down. Awesome. One more on each side. Great. Bring your feet together in a nice parallel position. We're going to reach up. We're going to swan dive down all the way down and we're gonna lift halfway up this is yoga but it feels really good back down and then all the way back up just doing this to warm the back of our body up mostly down flat back down and up down, flat back, down, up, let's do two more, down, flat back, reach up, last one, down, flat 
flat back, down, and up. And as we come up, bring those legs back into our second position, heels facing towards each other, play it down. Down and up. I do this a lot in my warm ups just because it really gets my lower body working and um, ready to go for everything that we do. <laughs> Keeping a nice flat back. We got ten seconds left. All right, let it relax. We're moving into just plain push-ups back. So your arms are gonna get nice and warm. So get in your plank position and do whatever variation of push-up you need. Making sure you're breathing. We're not getting sloppy in our form and having our stomach go down or our hips up way higher. We want a nice flat line. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it relax. Okay. Next exercise um, is all about the back. We're just going to lay with all of our limbs spread out and lift everything up at once and back down. It's really important here that you don't crank your neck back. You don't want to be looking directly forward. You want to be looking 
um, kind of like where your third eye is. So the back of your neck is nice and long. Unless you're looking at the timer. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let her relax. All right. We're going to be um, alternating leg and um, arm that we're raising. So it's like we're swimming. Just one at a time, nice and slow to get used to this kind of funky motion. Again, making sure you're not cranking the back of your neck. And also making sure that your core is staying engaged this whole time. Even though we are working our back, we don't want the front to get lazy. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so you have an option to continue doing that, or if you want to um, crank it up a notch, we're going to lift all of our limbs off and alternate, um, alternate what limbs are moving. Really like we're swimming now. Making sure you are breathing. crunch. So we're going to go over, lift the straight leg, bring it down and switch. Lift that leg down, switch. This just gets um, more of your lower, lower abs working in our traditional bicycle. If you can't keep this leg totally straight, it is okay if it is bent. You can also make this uh, faster if you want. All right, last one. Okay, so we're gonna do a similar Similar variation, um, it's kind of like bicycles, except our legs are gonna be straight the whole time. So we're gonna grab our leg and switch. You can grab behind your thigh, your calf, your ankle, everywhere, but right behind your knee. Making sure your back is completely flat this whole time. And making sure you're breathing. Again, if having straight legs is too much, you can bend them. We have five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, next up are butterfly crunches. So my legs are in this position and my hands are behind my head and all I'm doing is bringing my elbows to meet my knees and go back down. Lift, down. 
You can rest your legs on the floor. If you want an extra challenge, you can keep them up the whole time. Halfway. exercises you can keep your legs down up in the air or even straighten them I'm going to keep mine here for right now um, your arms are just going to be directly in front of you and you're going to lift them and as you lift them you want to keep your back nice and straight the whole time it doesn't seem like you're doing a lot here but by bringing your torso in your abs they have to work. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let her relax oh, real quick. So we're gonna go back into, um, into that position, whatever variation with your legs. We're gonna do a slow Russian twist. So my arms are in front of me, and I open up. I'm trying to touch the floor, come back. Again, trying to keep your back nice and straight. Remembering to breathe. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Okay. So we're done with our abs. Um, we're going to be moving on to our lower body. So a lot of um, outer thigh and inner thigh. But it is important as we're laying on our side that we stay um, nice and engaged. So, you're gonna find a spot on the floor. We're gonna keep our legs at about a 45 degree angle in front of us. Um, I'm thinking about keeping my, my hips in line with each other, so I'm not sinking down and getting everything out of alignment. I'm really focusing on keeping everything engaged, even here. Um, I'm pretending there's like a little mouse hole that could go right by my obliques. So um, with that, get, get in um, your position and we're going to start with just a regular um, thigh leg raise, outer thigh raise uh, with our foot turned out. So we're going to flex on the way up. We're gonna point on the way up and flex on the way down. Sorry, it was, it was a long day yesterday. So, with that, we are going to point up and come down. Point up, come down, flexing, up, flexing. And my lower leg here is working too. I'm not just letting it relax. I'm making sure it's staying nice and engaged this whole time. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 
we're gonna do a similar thing except our foot is gonna be parallel this time. So toes are facing forward this entire time as we lift up and down. So if you can't lift your leg as high, that is okay. Most people can't when they're turned in or parallel. Making sure we're breathing, um, making sure our core is staying engaged. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're we're almost done with our outer thighs. Um, our next exercise is gonna be another variation of that, except we're gonna be turned in this time. So you don't even have to be turned in that much to feel the difference in your glute. And especially after two rounds before this, you should be feeling it. Making sure you're breathing through the burn. seconds. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it relax. We're so close. All we're going to do, all we have left for outer thigh are 25 seconds of little circles in each direction in a parallel position. So we're going to circle, circling back, just little circles like you're drawing them on this, the wall that's parallel to your foot. And if you're not feeling your outer thighs right now, you are a superhuman. And we're going to switch directions. You're so close, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let it relax. Take a second before I move to our inner thighs. Um, put your hand in a fist and just pound out your butt, your upper thigh, whatever you need to. That is in pain right now. Um, just get that muscle some love. Okay, so we're gonna move to our inner thigh now. So you have the option, you can either put your top foot um, in front of you, and that can be a nice little stretch sometimes, or if that's too much, you can just leave it behind you like this. And it just gives you a little more room for your hips. So find what position feels comfortable for you. And we're gonna start with just a parallel raise of our bottom leg. So keeping that foot flexed, we're just gonna lift up, and down, up and down. Awesome job, we're more than halfway. Flexed and engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it relax. So, still working our inner thigh. Instead of going all the way up and down, we're going to stay up and we're going to do little baby pulses. So, your inner thigh never gets a break.
And it doesn't even need to be that big of a movement to feel everything working. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let her relax. Okay, this last exercise on our inner thigh before we switch sides is drawing the alphabet. So you're going to pretend you're drawing the alphabet on the uh, wall that's parallel to your foot. I like to keep my leg back here for that. This might take more than 50 seconds, um, but you just go at your own pace. So. If I finish before you would move on, you can just pause and finish up. Awesome. Okay, the great thing about doing everything on one side of your body is that we have to balance, balance it out and do it all on the other side. So, but once we do that, we'll be done and then we're just going to stretch. So, you're very close. So, find, find your comfortable position on the other side. Um, remember, we're starting with a turned out raise so our foot's gonna be flex or foot's gonna be pointed as we go up and flex as we go down. So with that in mind we're going to go up and down. And remember we're keeping our hips in line with each other. We're pretending there's a little mouse hole um, in our oblique area. So we're really thinking about working everything the whole time. Fifteen seconds. And let it relax. All right. Same thing, except we're going to be parallel. So whatever quick movements you have to do to get ready for that, we're just going to start lifting. Remembering to breathe. Fifteen seconds. turned in. So turn in and lift. And this just works a slightly different part of your glute muscle. So we want to make sure we hit everything. And remember, you don't even have to be that turned in to feel, um, feel that little difference. And you don't have to lift your leg that high to feel it working. Two, 
you. Five, four, three, two, one. Let her relax. All right, the last outer thigh I think we have are little tiny circles in each direction. So keeping that foot parallel, we're gonna circle back. Switch directions. We're so close. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let her relax. Grab. Bring your hand into a fist and pound it out. Pound out the pain. Get that blood flow back into your leg. All right. Moving on. We have three more things and then we're done. So we're going to be working on our thighs again. Uh, whatever variation you took on the first side, take that on the other one. So remember, a leg can cross up front, or it can just be back here, depending on how flexible your hips are feeling. We're going to start with just a regular parallel inner thigh raise. So all the way up and all the way down. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Shake it out, whatever you need to do before we go to those pulses. So remember, this just means that you don't really get to relax your inner thigh like you did with just the regular lifts. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it relax. Okay. Our very last exercise before we start stretching, we're just drawing out that alphabet. So might take you more than 50 seconds. That's okay. A lot of people will mess up or forget the alphabet when they do this. It happens. I don't know why. So remember, we're just pretending that we're drawing the ABCs on the wall that's parallel to our foot. So you can start. And let it relax. Okay, we're gonna come into a nice downward dog. Um, oh. Just stretch.
stretching out our calves, stretching out our chest. You can uh, walk in this downward dog, you can stay stationary, whatever your body is telling you you need right now. forward and you should be getting a nice IT band stretch in your right leg. If you need to bend a little bit and not come all the way up, perfectly okay. If you need blocks or books to help you as well, grab those. Okay, switch sides. So right foot is facing forward. My Left, or my right leg is turned out a little bit. Okay, we're going to go into a runner's lunge. So you can either stay up here, you can lower your back leg, if, as long as you keep your front foot flexed, you can turn out a little bit. You can grab your foot and bring it up. Choose what variation is best for you at the moment. Okay, we're going to switch sides, so whatever variation you took on the first side, take that here. You can move in it a little bit, that feels good. Get some of those spots you might not normally feel. And switch. shoulder stretch. I like to move in child's pose too. I'm going to chalk it up to the dance background. If you don't have your hands next to you already, bring them next to you. Roll up. And that is it. So remember, let me know if there's anything specific you would like to see. Um, I am willing to modify and make, make things that, that you all want to do and use and um, incorporate into your workout routine. So I will see you next week. All right.
take care and stay safe. Thanks guys.